So Witch Queen and Season of the Risen launched recently, and with it came Void 3.0. A ton of cool build potential, a fresh new feeling in one of our light based subclasses, and oh, oh no, ghosts. But not those ghosts, like Casper ghosts. Playing in the Crucible lately has got me like, hey there, demons, it's me. Yo boy. Invisible hunters everywhere. Every five seconds in the crucible is like. <laughs> now it's super frustrating to play against an enemy that you can't see. But I have a warlock exotic that will have you go from being scared of those ghosts to a full blown ghostbuster. So let's get into which exotic will have you running in the crucible like. <laughs> Without further delay, the exotic in question is none other than Eye of Another World. Eye of Another World is an exotic warlock helmet that was first introduced with the launch of Destiny 2. Its exotic perk, Cerebral Uplink, states highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. Now, most people back when Stasis first came out turned to Eye of Another World for the increased ability regeneration as it reduces ability cooldowns by a substantial amount that I will have up on screen right now, showing you exactly what kind of substantial impact it has on your cooldowns. But that's not why we're here. We are here to be Ghostbusters. So much so that I think Bungie should add like an exotic ship or sparrow to commemorate. What exactly? When a hunter goes invisible, they often have smoke or other things that add to how difficult it is to see them. And it's pretty much impossible without Eye of Another World. Where Eye of Another World comes in is when an enemy is below 50% health or when a guardian's shields are broken. They are outlined in red. As you can see, this makes a substantial difference and can make or break whether or not that hunter makes it out of the fight alive. Now, as good as that is, Eye of Another World cranks it up to being game changing when an enemy spooky boy has super. Here, Brave has super up and available and without inflicting any damage is completely completely outlined in yellow, visible even through a smoke bomb. So if an enemy hunter ghosty boy holds on to a super for nearly the entire game, well, you ain't afraid of no ghost and they're gonna get dunked on repeatedly. So what are some ways you can optimize for Eye of Another World? Well, given its absurd ability cooldowns, this actually allows you some freedom into build crafting and stat distribution. You don't necessarily need to spec completely into your melee or grenade as most of the higher tiers being like four through eight are seeing an average of 25% in their cooldown reduction. Further building into ways your class ability can flow into charging your melee and grenade would be where I would focus. Most warlocks, in my opinion, all warlocks should be at tier 10 recovery, meaning your class ability is already going to be at a cooldown of around 43 seconds or so. And with I have another world knocking an additional 19% off, that falls down to the 34 second mark. On the new Void 3.0, using Echo of Provision where damaging targets with grenades grant melee energy, Echo of Exchange where melee final blows grant grenade energy, in addition to mods like Outreach, Distribution, and Bomber. In other subclasses, those same mods will still do a lot for you for getting your abilities back so you can continue busting them ghosts find what works best for you strap on your proton pack fire up the alarm and your theme song so guys jump into the crucible give i have another world a try and let me know how it works for you guys in ridding the crucible of those pesky ghosts i did try faux tracer and one eyed mask and found that it didn't quite work as well as i have another world i know it's not perfect in that it doesn't track 100 of the time but let's be honest that would be like pre-nerf one eyed mask and we we don't want that trust me we really don't want that at all i still have nightmares of wall hacking over shielded yeet lords killing everyone if you have something that works for you this season let me know in the comments down below we still have more videos coming out real soon but if there's anything specifically that you all want videos on let me know in the comments down below or in my discord link will be in the description i hope everyone is enjoying the new expansion and is safe wherever you are in the world and until the next one i've been teagues you've been beautiful peace